This is Casey Lacroix with Red Carpet Report at the season three premiere of Youthful Days in West Hollywood. I'm Casey. I'm Paul. Nice, nice to meet you. You too. So tell us a little bit about your character. Uh, my character, his name is Brad Gilmore, and uh, he's a good guy at heart, which you don't always see on camera. He's very confused and troubled, uh, much like many of the people on the show. Can, can I just interject here? You are not the first person to be like, he really has a good heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we try to, you know, empathize with our, our people. Um, yeah, Brad, you know, you see it more as the show goes forward mm -hmm. in season three. Um, He's been through a lot, you know, and he's an interesting character. He's a bit of a loner, um, and, and just a lot of crazy things happen. How do you relate to your character? Um, I mean, there are total sides of me that are like the, the loner, edgy, being the new kid in town, um, being in situations where you don't always feel like you fit in. I mean, plenty of ways. Yeah. That's awesome. So tell us a little bit about uh, how you got to Hollywood and how you're acting now. Give us like a play-by-play. A -play. Soon I'll have a movie I, that's slightly autobiographical called Limelight. Um, it's my first feature film I'm producing, and I wrote the screenplay. That's amazing. Um, but it, it's funny that you say that because it's totally like a kid's journey from a small town. I'm from Colorado. Um, coming to Hollywood, having an opportunity at stardom, and then being like exploited and all kinds of things happen and your journey through that. Um, what have you learned most from, from this journey? The best, the best piece of advice <laughs> to give to uh, fellow actors, to give to people who are, who are looking to get into the industry? I would say don't set a time limit. Come out here because you want to be out here and because you love it. And it's all about the couple people that you find that just advocate for you and believe in you and they make all the difference. Right. So you're from Colorado. You moved here to LA. Uh, what, what are some big changes? Oh, everything. I've lived here six years now, so I love it. Um, okay. But I've gone from snowboarding to mostly surfing. Oh, yeah. Um, it's not icy, crazy streets. Um, yeah, right. What else? <laughs> the people. You know, it's people from all over the world as opposed to Colorado, where it's a lot of people from Colorado that just grew up there. Now, what about some, what are, what are your favorite Hollywood hotspots right now? Oh, man, they kind of change. Um, I love Nick's Martini Lounge. It's like one of my spots on Cannes in Santa Monica. Okay. They're a good group of people. So um, I guess a lot of people who like love you, they're going to be like stalking you. <laughs> show up. I'll buy you. A, you can buy me a drink. You can buy me a drink. Yeah, right? That sounds about right. <laughs> Got to be careful what I offer. Yeah. Yeah, right? um, But yeah, I live in, you know, West Hollywood, so I'm all the local spots, the Belmont, um, SDK, that, yeah, wherever. That's awesome. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you. Me too. It was a pleasure. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like us. Also subscribe for more interviews and make sure you leave us a comment. Don't forget to watch Youthful Days on Hulu.